small farm field is a square measuring 320 feet on each, each side. When I see that, I immediately draw a diagram just so I can be more engaged in this and understand it better. And then whenever I see the word square, I know that all sides are equal and we have right angles, just in case that's important. What is the perimeter of the field? And then next is if you double the length of each side of the field, what is the new perimeter? Oh, okay, so it used the word perimeter. Okay, what does perimeter mean? The outside. Okay, the outside. It's, it comes from Latin. So we can literally translate it. So this is a math course, but I am going to teach you a foreign language. Math is like a foreign language, but there's a lot of Latin. There's a lot of Greek. So this comes from Latin. This means, uh, peri means around, and meter means to measure. So when you translate it from Latin, it literally means to measure around. Okay, now think about any formulas that you know about perimeter. So I know that for a rectangular object, it's 2L plus 2W. A square is a type of rectangle. So for a square, it's going to be it's going to be four times four times the side, right? If you do side plus side plus side plus side, you get four sides. Now, the perimeter will be 4 times 320, which is 4. I always encourage you to not use your calculator. So this is how I would do it in my head. So that's 1,200 plus 80. So that's 1,280 feet. Does it seem reasonable? Yeah. Yes. Now the question next is, so this could be like part A, is um, what if we double the side? So double the side length is three, four, is 640 feet. Okay, so then that would be the perimeter is equal to four times 640. Again, four times 600 plus 40. 1600, 16. Um, Why are you doing 600 plus 40 and not just 640? Because I'm trying to show you how I do it in my head without a calculator. Because you distribute. So you will get um, four times 600. Oh, that's not 17. Four times 600 is 2,400. And then four times 40 is, so this is 25. sixty. so 2,560 feet. And then if you want, you can go back and check with the calculator. Okay, because if you don't use this, you lose it. And also, if you immediately go to the calculator all the time, you're going to be dependent on it. So imagine, you know, I had access to a wheelchair and I loved it. I just would use this wheelchair all the time. I'd pop wheelies. Maybe I can get a remote on it. So I just remote around. I didn't need it, but I still use this wheelchair all the time. What's going to happen 
What's going to happen to my legs? So I'm saying I don't need a wheelchair, but I'm, I think they're cool. I'm going to use it all the time. I'm going to start waking up, hopping in the wheelchair. What's going to happen to my legs? They're going to depend on the wheelchair. Yes. And I'm going to lose my muscles in my legs and they're going to get weak. And I won't even be able to stand at some point because I'm not using my legs. Do you see the analogy though? You see where I'm going with this? What is this? This is like your wheelchair, okay? If you always go straight to this, you're not using this and this muscle becomes weak. So when you're taking, when you're doing homework on your own, I can't be there with you to check, but I really want you to keep trying to do things in your head first. And then if you want, check it with your calculator. Because otherwise, if you don't use this, you'll lose it. All right, so there's that. Now we've, we've understood the problem, we created a plan, right? We did a diagram and I looked at for formulas and equations and I solved the equations. Now at the very end, can I check? Okay, well, let's see. You can sum them up individually, that's one way, but also does this doubling the side seem reasonable? Let me see if I can solve it a different way. So uh, if we know that the perimeter, is equal to four times the side length. And our new side length is four times two times 320. Then this would be now eight times 320. And you can check that, that's gonna be about 20, 25, eight times two is, 16. So this does check out. So this is a different way of solving this. And uh, we can do a more general problem that the perimeter is equal to um, four times two times the side. So that's equal to eight S. So if we had a new problem, we could just do eight times the original side. Okay, so that's one way of looking back and saying, how can I use this result? to help me with a future problem. Well, if you just double the side, then all you have to do is eight times the original side length. 